So, um, hello everybody. Thought I'd share this letter from the White House uh, that I got back in February. Basically, I've been uh, reaching out to the White House and um, the you know decision makers um, that handles uh, federal government racism, institutional racism type of cases and workplace discrimination. And so I started my um, basic uh, initiation um, to inf inform the White House of my treatment all the way back in 2012. And this letter is dated 2022. So it's been almost past 10 years actually since I've reached out to the White House. And what I find baffling is that uh, I got a letter from their office without a signature, uh, the name of the author of this letter, or that uh, additional information on how to reach the agency that they transferred my case to. So I wrote them the letter um, a good, I would say about a year or so ago. And I finally got a respond, and the respond doesn't have any valuable or beneficial information that I can utilize so that I can continue to pursue my case. So this is coming from the head of our state, the head of the country's office. And, you know, all I've requested is basically, you know, to receive aid, you know, for them to intervene and justice regarding my case. And here we are, um, you know, years, almost a decade and some, you know, months later. And I'm still basically knocking on their door, requesting for assistance. Um, yet they've managed to send off billions of dollars worth of taxpayer money around the world. And yet a citizen a former U.S. Peace Corps volunteer and a former civil servant requesting assistance from the White House um, is pretty much <laughs> put on hold. And like you see here, there's no real relevant or beneficial information that I can utilize so that I can continue to pursue my case. Um, it's very unfortunate because, you know, um, it's not like I'm asking for a whole lot from them. I'm just requesting assistance because I was discriminated against and there was institutional racism going on at HUD when I was.